In today's video, we're gonna be making a dry ice tornado. The first step is to clean out the garage because I need a good airflow in here. And so in order for this to work properly, all this has gotta go. I've got so many good relics. Like this was the solar thermal cooker. Every time I move everything down out of the garage, it's like a trip down memory lane. Ready to be poured. Now the reason that I wanted to do it in the Nikopedia lab is because we need a place that is low wind, meaning we couldn't do this totally outside, but we also need it to be ventilated because dry ice is solid form CO2. And when it sublimes, when it goes from the solid form into the gas form, it then fills the room or wherever you're at with CO2. And because that could potentially displace oxygen and you need oxygen to breathe. So you wanna make sure that you have an open ventilated space that just doesn't have a lot of wind. And that's why the Nikopedia Lab, my garage, is the perfect place to do this experiment. So the next step is fill this up with air. All right, there we go. That's a pool. Next step. Positioning all the fans. All right, so we have everything set up in place. We have this flow, that flow, and this will create the spiral. So we're gonna go run a small test first to see if we have the fans in the right position, and then we're gonna put 100 pounds of dry ice in this little kiddie pool. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the fans. We got one fan right here. Oh, we got another fan down here. My number one fan. Use my number one fan. Oh. It's, it's swirling. Are we turning? Yeah, here. Let's let's readjust. Oh, it's getting there. Okay, it's almost there. <laughs> Okay, so that really didn't work. So here's what I'm thinking. One, I'm gonna have to elevate all the fans because I feel like it's not creating the vortex where we need it to, meaning like the outer layer of the kiddie pool is protecting some of the rotation, some of the condensation from actually getting up into that vortex. So I'm gonna put all these fans on a cinder block, but I'm also gonna measure out with a measuring tape exactly the distance between the center and uh, where they sit now. Hopefully, we get a tornado. That's number two. There's really no way of actually knowing how this thing is gonna perform without it being the exact conditions. So I'm just gonna go for it and I'm just gonna adjust accordingly uh, when it's in place. If it doesn't work, well, I'm gonna go back to the dry ice place. I'm just gonna buy more dry ice. We're just gonna go for it. That's basically what's gonna happen. We're just gonna do it. Let's see what happens. We got some warm water. It is time. Oh my god, I can't even see anything. That's happening. <laughs> it's, like, it's so much more of a hurricane than it is a tornado. There's some type of twist. There is definitely a motion of a twist going on there. Oh! It's so sick! Yes! Oh, you saw it! I did! You saw it! Oh, it's still you going! What? <laughs> Apparently you don't need 100 pounds. You just need enough for it to get the right rotation. And once it builds, just like a regular tornado, it'll actually get moving. Oh, oh, oh yeah! Whoa! Oh my God, it's so perfect. Whoa! Wow! It's so perfect. Look at the tornado. We made a tornado! We made a legit tornado, it's still going! What? Wow! That is unbelievable. Wow. We legit made a tornado in my garage. 
that is beautiful. It kind of comes and goes just like a regular tornado. What? What? That is so sick. Oh my God. Look at it, we made a tornado in my garage. Wow. What? What? I'm gonna put my hand in it. It didn't like that. <laughs> All right, it's coming back though. Okay, there we go. We put 100 pounds of dry ice in a kiddie pool, and at first we kind of made like a dry ice hurricane. Then eventually, as things simmered down, we made a dry ice tornado. It was awesome. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. In the comment section below, let me know, did you know that you could make a tornado in your garage? If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you really soon. After all that dry ice, the water is so cold. In fact, it's pretty close to freezing. This, this thing won't quit. These are just basically pieces of ice now that has formed around the dry ice. 